Hey, my name is DJ, I'm 14 years old, and I love video games. Because of confidentiality, I can't show you my real face, so that's why I, uh, I drew myself, and I got help animating this movie. He's taught me not to be afraid of things. He's taught me a little Latin word called carpe diem. It means seize the day. Try to live at the fullest. And I tried to do that my best. He kind of tells me not to be afraid of things. Just kind of treat them how they are, I guess. He's matured a lot since he got here, just in the last couple years. I mean, uh, uh, physically and emotionally. He's grown like a foot. And uh, when he first got here, he was pretty arrogant. And, uh, and I think that might just be a defense mechanism, but I don't know. I think we've tore down the walls and you know, we're rebuilding a, you know, a great kid. Smart. had a rough go and you know still a lot of work but you know, in the process we, we find out a lot about ourselves too so everybody's learning and growing Penalton Academy I just didn't like it they, they didn't take care of my diabetes very well they sucked at medical stuff the kids were mean as mean as crap if, if I can say that, I'm sorry, but they were just, it was just a horrible place. Based on my investigation, I uh, lodged a formal complaint against the state about the care he was receiving, some of the most basic things like um, diabetes care and uh, basic mental health needs that weren't being met. After I sent some complaints to my lawyer, she sent some complaints to the company and she got me out of there. We've had meetings with the school board and they wanted to mainstream DJ and he's not ready. Someday maybe, but not right now. I worked hard to make the school district understand that it's uh, part of his educational rights to remain where he was and to continue where he was being successful. It became a moot issue, you know. They, they didn't push it with her there. And I didn't think they would. That's why I wanted her to attend. You know, I'm just a parent. They can push me around, but not him, not her. That's in part based on the legislation that our office has helped pass in the state of Oregon that allows children who are in foster care to remain in the schools that they're in despite moves that they might make and we pursued that legislation because we were so concerned based on the research which tells us that uh, children fall further and further behind with every school move that they make. I'm trying to gather confidence. I have a lot of confidence in me and my challenges is my anger like Scott said earlier because when I get angry, I kind of just lose control. I need to get control of that anger. So, and Tanya's helping me with that because she put me in this placement and she knew it was right for me. And Scott is, of course, part of that because he's in the placement with me. And he, uh, he's my dad. And dads do what dads are supposed to do. And they're trying, they try to help their kids no matter what. DJ had 22 placements prior to coming to us, and um, at first it was tough, you know. It still is, but uh, you, know, you, you become attached to these kids, and you know we love DJ, and he's our son. Drawing helps me get my stress out, and it helps me because it like is calming. It's soothing, and it lets me cr express myself. You know what I mean. This guy's name is Yo Shark. Like a sh Yoshi, but mixed with a shark. He has no feet, really. He just kind of, kind of swims in water. He can be on land, but you know he. Uh, put some gills here. He can be on land, but he can also uh, swim. He swims a lot better, but he just has has to crawl in, on land but he can still survive on there. I took a permanency hearing at a 
at Oregon Courts. I think that's what it was called. But uh, and then we decided that we uh, this is a permanent place for me. So now I get to stay here, and basically it's my home now. He's coming a long way, and you know, he's our son. So and so I don't know what else to say. The people are good here. I like them. I. I uh, I think this is the right one for me just because it's hard to explain. I can't explain it. It just it feels perfect. This is the right place for me. I think I, I could stay here for a long time. Good. Thank you.